Before the courthouse caught on fire, a house a few blocks away was set on fire, and that incident provided investigators with a critical lead. The Mason County Courthouse smoldered until the noon hour Friday. By then, a suspect was already in custody. He was captured near Burnett. Sources say the man allegedly set the fire because he was upset over a previous family court case. The first fire call, according to Mason County Judge Jerry Bearden, came shortly before 10 o'clock Thursday night. As they responded to the house fire, uh, about uh, 5 after 10, the lady across the street in the jail, that's our dispatcher, looked out the window and noticed flames coming out of the second floor of the Mason County Courthouse. Images of the blaze that engulfed the historic courthouse were provided to Fox 7. Fire crews from surrounding areas were called in and prevented the fire from jumping to businesses on the town square. This video was recorded by Deborah Solerio at her house. She lives just two blocks away. Once the roof collapsed on the courthouse, Everything just kind of went poof, and all of these embers, it looked like fireworks over our house. Friday afternoon, Allie Yonker, a deputy clerk, stood outside of the 111-year-old structure, watching investigators search for and collect evidence. Devastating. We worked really hard to get where we were um, in our renovation. This is a view from Sky Fox drone of the courthouse. Back in December, county records were removed from inside as part of a restoration project. I'm told only a few pieces of furniture remained. It's just like losing a loved one. Judge Bearden says the courthouse was the third that the county has built, and it was the heart of the town. Pray for us. I can't, I just can't imagine how Something like this can affect you, but uh, we appreciate your prayers. We appreciate the community's support. Judge Bearden told me that a structural assessment is being done to the building, and if the walls are okay, he hopes to start rebuilding before May. In Mason, I'm Rudy Kosky, Fox 7 Austin News.